I didn't see you there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Bartholomew the Bookworm, book and history enthusiast, and undefeated bike racer. I always win bike races because I am the fastest cyclist. I must admit though, if it wasn't for John Boyd Dunlop and his pneumatic tires, I would not be faster than the others. You've probably heard of Dunlop tires, but you may be wondering who John Boyd Dunlop is. Well, wonder no more, as I am going to tell you all about the Ulster Scots inventor and veterinarian who invented the pneumatic tire. Can you imagine cycling a bike with wooden or metal wheels and how uncomfortable it would be? You would be shaking all over the place and it would be a very rocky ride. This is the same with cars. Imagine if you had to drive a long distance to school every day in a car that had wooden wheels. We are lucky that John Boyd Dunlop solved this problem and decided to come up with a plan to fix it. But how did a veterinarian from Ulster Scott's background go into the tire making business? The best place to start is the beginning and John Boyd Dunlop's story begins in Dreghorn, Ayrshire, Scotland in the year 1840. John Boyd Dunlop grew up on a farm in the small village of Dreghorn during the early mid 19th century. Although John's father was a farmer and he grew up on the farm, John had no interest in farming and instead preferred to occupy himself with his studies. John's parents must have seen some potential in their young boy as they allowed him to pursue his studies instead of helping out with the farm work. After he attended the local parish school in Dreghorn, John continued his studies at Irvine Academy. At only 19 years of age, he graduated from the Royal Veterinary College, Edinburgh, as a qualified veterinarian. Smarty pants. When John was in his 20s, he decided to move to Ulster with his brother James, where they established Down Veterinary Clinic in Down Patrick before setting up a practice in Belfast. It would be here when John Boyd Dunlop would come up with his innovative invention. During this time, Belfast roads were cobbled streets the worst conditions for bicycles. John's son enjoyed cycling. However, he complained of his difficulties with cycling on the cobbled streets. He asked his father to make his bicycle go smoother so he could cycle without jolting about the place. Let's jump to 1887 when John had an idea. Dunlop came up with the idea of using a hose pipe filled with water instead of a solid rubber tire to make the bicycle go smoother. Dunlop told Dr. Fagan of his plan and the doctor suggested a way for him to improve on his initial design. Mm. He suggested that using air to fill the tube instead of water would be much more practical. Dunlop soon started testing out different materials in order to perfect the tires for his son's tricycle. Dunlop's tires greatly improved performance and local riders all soon wanted to have them for their own bicycles. To allow his tire to be used, changes would have to be made to existing bicycle frames. Tricycles and bicycles were very different back in the 19th century than they are today. The wheels were much bigger 
and some even had different sized wheels. There were a few steps involved in making John's pneumatic tyre, but why was it so successful? Let's check out the science! Pneumatic tyres are tyres that are filled with air. They are used on cars, bikes and many other vehicles to provide a smooth and comfortable ride. Here's how pneumatic tyres work. Step number one. The tyre is made of rubber with a strong outer layer called the tread and a sidewall that is softer. Step number two. The tyre is filled with air, creating air pressure inside the tyre. The air pressure inside the tyre is greater than the air pressure in our atmosphere which allows the tyre to provide support for the weight of the vehicle. Step 3. The air-filled tyres help to cushion the weight of the vehicle and absorb shock. This makes the ride more comfortable for the passengers and helps to protect the vehicle's suspension. Step 4. The tread of the tyre grips the road, creating traction. Its design also forces the water away from the tyre, helping to reduce the chance that the tyre will slip. Step 5. Friction is the force that acts between the tyre and the road when the two surfaces are in contact. Friction helps the vehicle to stop and turn more easily by providing a resistance to the tyre's motion. It also creates heat, which helps the tyre tread to grip the road. Imagine you are pushing a box across the floor. If the floor is very smooth and slick, it would be easier to push the box because there is less friction between the bottom of the box and the floor. On the other hand, if the floor is rough and has a lot of traction, it will be harder to push the box because there is more friction between the bottom of the box and the floor. Dunlop patented his invention. However, in 1896, it was sold to Harvey Dew Cross and the company was renamed Dunlop Rubber. The company went on to make different types of car tires, airplane tires, and even golf balls. John Boyd Dunlop never became rich from his invention. After selling his part of the company, he retired to Dublin and died not long after. Dunlop's first pneumatic tyre can be seen in the National Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh. Whew, I have worked up a sweat talking about Dunlop tyres and cycling on them. Well, I hope you find that as interesting as I did. And the next time someone is talking about tires, you have some fun facts that you can tell them. Wow, that was fun. I can't wait to see you on my next adventure.